Hello. Do you know what day is coming very soon? You do? What day is it? Very good. It's Thanksgiving Day. I'm going to read you a story today, but I want you to use those eyes and ears because I'm going to ask you some questions about the Thanksgiving story. And we are going to write a very short story about Thanksgiving. Are you ready? Listen carefully now. This is the story of the first Thanksgiving. Many, many years ago, a small ship came to America. The name of this ship was the Mayflower. The people were called pilgrims. The pilgrims wore different clothing than we do today. It was very cold when they came to America and they didn't have very much food left. They made friends with the Indians. The Indians taught the pilgrims how to build houses and hunt for food and live in the wilderness. They were very glad when spring came and it was warm again. They went to work right away. They plowed the land and planted the seeds they carried from England across the ocean to America and then they waited. The plants grew strong and healthy. When fall came, the pilgrims gathered their fruits and vegetables they had planted. They stored away enough food for the next winter. Everyone was very happy, and the pilgrims said, we must thank God for all the good food, our homes, our clothes, our friends, and all our blessings. We will have a big feast and invite our Indian friends. We will call it a feast of thanksgiving. On the day of the feast, the pilgrims covered the table with good things to eat from their gardens. The Indians brought wild turkeys they had shot with their bows and arrows. Before anyone ate, they all bowed their heads. Then they said a prayer of thanksgiving to God. That was the first thanksgiving. It took place many, many years ago. Did you listen to that story? You did, didn't you? Who were the people that came to America? The pilgrims, very good. Did they make friends with anyone? They did. Who were they? The Indians. And that's exactly what we are going to write for our Thanksgiving story. The pilgrims came to America. They made friends with the Indians. Are you ready? Do you have your pencil in your hand? Are you sitting correctly? Watch this card up here that I have. Do you have your name on your paper? Grade. And today we have something new. Your school, the name of your school. If you have all of those things, your paper is headed correctly and you are ready to write. Remember now, our story is, the pilgrims came to America. And today, I want you to watch as I write one word and say the strokes, and then I want you to write that one word. Are you ready? Let's go. The first word that we'll need is the or the. The first letter in that word is uppercase T. And this is how it's made. We begin on the headline and slide to the right. Begin on the headline, and the only thing you're going to do is just pull straight down to the baseline. The next letter you'll need is lowercase h. Begin on the headline, and you're going to pull straight down to the baseline, retrace, curve forward, touching that midline, and pull down. The last letter in the word the is lowercase e. Begin halfway between the midline and the headline. Uh oh, I made a mistake. Halfway between the midline and the baseline. Let's make a backward circle. Be sure that you touch your baseline and the midline, and all you have to do is just slide to the right. And you have the word the. Will you write that word for me now?
Good. Don't forget now, did you remember to have one finger for a margin? You did, didn't you? Very good. Now that we've written the first word, let's have one finger space. You know we have to have space between our words. The next word in our sentence is pilgrims. Now I want you to watch me write it. The first letter is uppercase P, and this is how it's made. Begin on the headline, pull straight down to the baseline, begin on the headline, slide right, curve forward, and slide back on the midline. Your next letter is lowercase i. Begin on the midline and just pull straight down to the baseline. Halfway between the headline and the midline, place your dot there. The next letter is lowercase l and you know how it's made. Begin on the headline and pull straight down to the baseline. Next letter, lowercase g. That's a backward circle. Begin below the midline. Make a backward circle, touching the midline and the baseline. Now begin on the midline, and you're going to pull down to that descender line. Backward, touching the descender line, and up. Your next letter is lowercase r. Watch the letters as I make them now. Begin on the midline. Pull down to the baseline, retrace, curve forward, touching the midline. Your next letter is lowercase i. Begin on the midline and pull down straight to the baseline. Halfway between the midline and the headline, don't forget to place your dot. The next letter is lowercase m, that hump letter member. Begin on the midline and pull down to the baseline. Retrace, curve forward, touching the midline, pull down to the baseline. Retrace, curve forward, touching the midline, come on around and pull down to the baseline. And the last letter in the word pilgrims is lowercase s. Remember we began below the midline, circle back, around, down, touching that baseline and up and we have the word pilgrims. Will you write that word now? Be very careful. Be sure that you have space between each letter. All right, the next word is cane, but before you do that, let's get one finger space. Hold your finger there, keep your finger space, and watch as I write our next word. The first letter in the word came is lowercase c. That's a backward circle, touching that midline and the what? And the baseline, good. Next letter is lowercase a, another backward circle, touching the midline and the baseline. And don't forget, go up on your midline and pull down straight to the baseline. Next letter, lowercase m, begin on the midline and pull down to the baseline, retrace, curve forward, touching the midline, pull down, retrace, curve forward, touching the midline, pull down. And the last letter is lowercase e, halfway between the baseline and the midline, let's make a backward circle, touching the midline, and the baseline, and slide to the right, and you have the word cane. Be sure that you leave space between each of your letters. Our next word is two, but we need one finger space there. Don't forget that. Are you ready? You watch me, and I'll let you write the word when I have finished. Be sure that you use those eyes and ears so that you can say the strokes. Lowercase t, begin halfway between the midline and the headline and pull down to the baseline. Begin on the midline and slide right. And the last letter in the word two is lowercase o. Begin below the midline, 
just make a backward circle, touching the midline and the baseline. Now we don't have enough space to write the word America, so we are going down on the next three lines here. Be sure that you have your margin, one finger margin, and I'm going to write the word America. The first letter in America is uppercase A. One of those slant members began on the headline and slant to the baseline left. Now begin on the headline and slant right to the baseline. Now just below the baseline, slide to the right. Lowercase m, begin on the midline, retrace your stroke. Touching the midline, pull down, retrace. Touching the midline and pull down. Your next letter, lowercase e, halfway between the midline and the baseline. Make a backward circle and slide to the right. Next letter is R. Down from the midline to the baseline, retrace, curve forward. Lowercase i is next. Begin on the midline and pull down straight to the baseline. Halfway between the midline and the headline. Let's place that dot. Our next letter is lowercase c. Begin below the midline and make a what? Backward circle, very good. Touching the midline and the baseline. And our last letter is lowercase a. Another backward circle. Go up to the midline, pull down straight to the baseline. And we have the sentence. The pilgrims came to America. Now that sentence tells us something. So what should we have at the end? Very good. We should have a period at the end of the sentence. Now our next sentence for our story is they made friends with the Indians. But I tell you, I won't have enough time to help you complete the story. But I'd like for you and your teacher to complete the story by writing the sentence, they made friends with the Indians. And I'd like for you and your family to have a happy and very pleasant Thanksgiving day.